Did anybody ever tell you it's not good to cry and drive? You came back. Of course. I'm so exasperated with me. I still am. The Spencer men don't uh, abandon women who are stranded alone in their cars. I found a house right down the street and I called a tow truck. They should be here pretty soon. It's cold in here. I need to turn up the heat. I didn't notice. Oh. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm really sorry for everything I did. You know, you don't, you, you don't believe me, but it's the truth. I don't know what came over me. Elizabeth, it's the same thing that always does. You're just gonna have to face it. You got a terminal case of jealousy. You gotta do something about it. I know, I know. And I'm trying. It just seems like... Even before I realize it, I'm all caught up in it again. You know what I don't get? Is it, you go and instigate all this trouble, and then you just do a 180 and go running to Sarah's rescue. There's a lot of things about my relationship with my sister you don't understand. I think there are a lot of things about uh, your and Sarah's relationship that you don't understand, Elizabeth. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. Uh, I am. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to go this far. It was supposed to be a joke, you know, putting the condoms in Nicholas's shopping bag, and it was funny at the time. I guess you had to be there. You think I'm a terrible person, don't you? I think you're pretty screwed up, yeah. But you know, you should try living with an older sister who's always being held up to you as the perfect example. You know, I've heard that one before, Elizabeth, and to tell you the truth, it's getting pretty stale. Yeah, you're right. There's no excuse. I was angry, and I lost my head. Just do me a favor, though, okay? Stop acting so mature, because I know better. I know that you're crazy about my sister and that you hate Nicholas. So stop pretending like it doesn't matter that she chose him over you. That is not the point. That's not even close to the point. You know what the point is? Is that I wouldn't do something this, this sloppy and out of control. Oh. Oh. Right. You're so noble. I'd love to see how you'd feel if you and Nicholas actually lived together as brothers and your mother always held him up as the smart one, the nice one the handsome one. You know, I believe it or not, Elizabeth, I understand. You know, and there are probably good reasons for it. Believe me, I know. But going about it this way, it's not getting me anywhere. I mean, why don't you just try being yourself? Living your own life. Listen, uh, when they pull us out and get us on the road, you have a choice. We're almost to the cast and I retreat house. Now I'm going back home. What about you? Ruby. I know. I know. It's turning out to be a perfect day, you know? Sarah loses her virginity, and it looks like I just lost my job. Poor Liz. Mm. Looks like Nicholas is some quick worker, ain't he? It's not funny. Hey, Lucky. Liz, a word? What's up? They're on you, so maybe you can get your money back. I don't understand. Well, you know what? You should just stop lying, Liz, because Nicholas and I both know that you planted those in his bag. Sarah, <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke. Nobody's laughing. Are you going to tell Graham? I'll consider not telling her under one condition. Anything? That you talk to the school counselor about this. Okay. Absolutely. I'll bring it up at my next session. 
Oh, yeah, and one more thing. If you skip another session, then I'm going to tell Graham. Sarah, I was really busy. Oh, I'm sure you were. They must have taken a lot of thought, picking out exactly what type of condom would be appropriate. Look, Liz, this is fair warning for you. If I find out that you skip another session, not only am I going to tell Graham about the condoms, I'm also going to tell her about those test answers that you planted on me. And if you don't think I will, try me. <laughs>